Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers and my spe special guest, uh, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo. Um, there's a lot that's been going on. There's no debate. Why is there no debate? Look, I mentioned I started my career working on democracy issues, and I was absolutely baffled and bewildered and frankly very sad when I found myself working to protect democracy right here in America and right here in Harris County. I never thought I'd be doing that. And my opponent, uh, finally on October 17th, I saw her uh, finally admit that Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. That was October 17, 2022, when she finally said that to a reporter. Uh, as recently as the Houston Chronicle endorsement screening, it was just a couple weeks before that, I asked her, will you admit Donald Trump lost the election? Will you say so publicly? She still hasn't said so publicly, really, really, to her supporters. It's a yes or no question. She ended up talking about Hunter Biden. She would say that Joe Biden is the president, but she wouldn't say that Joe Biden won the election. So, but why not and debate? So, well, because, because I don't feel that it makes sense to give a platform to someone who won't even play by the basic rules of democracy. That, to me, given my background, you know, I was born in Colombia during the drug war. I've worked in close countries internationally. I understand the, the importance of just having uh, valid electoral processes. This is a person who knows better. And so I, don't, I didn't want to give that a platform. So with no debates, to, no debates to compare styles, the message to many people who may be not astute as far as policy is concerned, they're left to watch commercials to help make up their minds. I want to show one. This is one of yours about Alex Miller. I want to get your reaction on the other side. It's the most extreme abortion law in the nation. Greg Abbott's abortion ban. And Alex Miller supports it. It makes no exceptions for rape or incest. It could put Texas doctors in jail. And it's already preventing women from getting medical care that they desperately need for miscarriages and life-threatening ectopic pregnancies. Now, Alex Mueller wants to take charge of our health system as Harris County judge. Don't let her. Now, to be clear, you have many positive ads out there about what you stand for. Um, this one sounds like that you think maybe abortion or the subject of abortion is going to be a big concern to, voter, to voters. Is that true? Yes, it is. That's what I hear on the ground. And, and the Republicans don't want me to talk about that, right? They don't want me to talk about the fact that the doctors in our public hospital system, uh, which is overseen by Harris County, have to choose between the life of the mother and possible criminal prosecution. They don't want me to talk about the fact that in Harris County, we've been investing in reducing the maternal mortality rate and the infant mortality rate, that we can invest in contraception, that we can try to see what else we can do to go against this terrible abortion ban. They don't want me to talk about the fact that so many women in this community and across the state, the vast majority of people oppose that outright ban on abortion, even in cases of rape and incest. And so my opponent says sometimes, um, and they'll say, well, it's a national issue. It doesn't matter. Well, look, as county judge, you have to respond to what your constituents are concerned about. And there are women in this county. I was just talking to my own uh, OB um, because I was on a, an ovarian cyst they're going to have removed later in the year. She, she told me this week, she said, I cannot tell you I've been putting so many IUDs in 15-year-olds in 15 year olds, these were her words, because of the abortion ban. So believe me you, as a woman in this community, I can tell you unequivocally and as an elected leader, it is a crucial issue for women. And of course I'm gonna talk about it. And people need to know where this person stands because she's gonna be then leading the Harris Health System. She's gonna be the one appointing people along with the other commissioners that could say to doctors, okay, you can no longer provide abortions even when the life of the mother is in danger. Now, according to uh, Alexandra Miller, who has been running ads against you, her opinion, at least by these ads, is that that there's something else that will attract the voters' attention. Let me watch her spot and we'll get your response. Under Lena Hidalgo, Harris County has descended into crisis. Her radical crime policies have led to hundreds of murders, and her key advisors want to abolish prisons. She pretends funding bike trails and social workers is the same as law enforcement. Now, Hidalgo faces criminal indictment for rigging an $11 million contract for insiders. Three of her top staffers have already been indicted. Crime, corruption, incompetence. On November 8th, let's end the nightmare. 
I know you've watched that a lot because a lot of the viewers across all televisions have watched that. What about that spot do you strongly disagree with? So I'll, I'll tackle that first, and then I want to tackle the first thing you said. Um, so what do I disagree with? She talks about top advisors and circles a gentleman there. This is a gentleman I know because he's a judge. Um, he, an advisor? No idea. I mean, he works as one of the judges. That's about it. I've probably talked to him a couple of times when we've found ourselves in, in the same rooms. Uh, face criminal indictment? That is an outright lie. I, unless I'm unaware, and I sure heard from the district attorney, there's in writing, Lena Hidalgo is not right now a target. So, and there's more, more falsehoods in there. So she's very comfortable with mistruths. And that should be a disqualifying factor in anyone who's leading the county. What would happen if someone comfortable with mistruths is in charge of a politicized pandemic, for example? Um, and I want to make very clear uh, that there are those falsehoods. Now, why have people seen these ads so much? Because there's a difference in who she and I are beholden to. I'm the only elected official in Harris County. Um, she won't take this pledge in any city that I know of around the nation, uh, any county that I know of around the nation, that refuses to take contributions from people who do business with the county. Uh, my colleagues here, she will be able to do this when she takes office. They take 80% of their contributions come from county contractors, and they turn right around and give contracts that are millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, sometimes even a billion to those contractors. I don't do that. I raise money from the community. Her. On the other hand, she just received a $5 million contribution. $5 million, uh, not a contribution, but a $5 million raise from Dick Weekly, who's a major developer in the community. How do we know this? There was an email that was leaked uh, that was circulating amongst her finance committee members that was saying, thank you, Dick Weekly, for raising $5 million for Alex Mueller. And he himself gave almost half a million dollars. Why is that? Because in 2019, when I took office, over the objections of the developers in Dick Weekly, I passed the most stringent flood detention requirements. So we stopped paving over the prairie and flooding everyone downstream. So that's who she's beholden to. What's going to happen when those folks then ask her to change her policies. So that's the pitch that she is making. Um, what is going on with the commissioner's court right now? We've got uh, commissioners Cagle and Ramsey who aren't coming because they're disagreeing about the budget. What does that say about dysfunction in the commissioner's court? And what do you think about their absence and even having discussions about it? Well, there's this uh, saying Mitch McConnell is, is sort of known for, and I'll get a few of the words right, the wrong, but the gist is he said, it's not about uh, getting our policies done. It's about making sure that President Obama does never, never wins again. And I think that's kind of what the commissioners on commissioner's court, the Republicans, are trying to do to me, is putting their community in the back burner just for the sake of hurting my electoral chances. The beginning of the ad was talking about crime. Look, crime went up during the pandemic all over the country, and any, any victim is a problem in this community. I was born, as I mentioned, during the drug war. I know the importance of public safety. Now, we've been working really hard to tackle crime the way that we know can actually be addressed. Mm -hmm. Uh, that includes smart you know, mental health investments, it includes uh, creative solutions that have worked elsewhere, and it also includes a raise for law enforcement officers, additional law enforcement officers, record funding more than ever before. But the commissioner so want to be able to say that I'm defunding the police, which is absolutely false. We've increased the funding for the district attorney, every constable, and the sheriff, that they themselves are defunding the police. So by not participating in this budget vote, right now we're proposing a budget that would be a tax rate cut, the lowest tax rate since 1990, 30 years. Um, they are reducing the budget by that $100 million that were supposed to be added to the police in Harris County. They're also putting our hospital system $45 million in the red um, and so many other issues. So it's a sort of burn it all down approach. Uh, we had uh, the director of our public hospital system, Dr. Porsa, break down in tears, break down in tears at the last commissioner's court meeting. He doesn't know what else to do because there are people, 3,000 people needing cancer screenings that can't get them because these guys won't show up and vote for a tax rate cut. I think they're doing this so that they can then turn around and run, run an ad that says Lena Hidalgo's defunding the police when they're the ones that defunded it. I mean, I think the community can see past these antics. I hope they can. The problem is she has all this developer money and far right money. So she's running more ads than I am. Uh, but we're, we've got the community on our side. Well, we're going to talk about the closing pitch that you want to give to the Harris County voters in just a minute. Right